Hey YouTube. Finally getting around to have some free time and wanted to introduce to you Shark Tooth. Shark Tooth came with a lot of already installed gear that we didn't have to worry about. It's actually pretty cool. They already have a dual uh, AGM battery system in it. Comes with the Lynx ARB Lynx system and twin ARB compressor. The cool things that it has, it has front and rear ARB lockers. It also came with a eye camper. Eye camper tent is definitely uh, an upgrade from our Smini built that we had before. It's much easier to set up, much easier to break down. You don't have to fight with that Velcro uh, cover. And it makes things a lot more simple. Uh, not having to have Leanne climb up on top of the Jeep just to get a strap and help weight it down and pressure to get the, the straps tight. Um, other things that the Gladiator came with is this bed slide from Nuthouse Industries. This bed slide has been a real game changer. Uh, having everything set in place and all you're doing is one twist of a, of a locking handle and opening up a slide that reveals a 17 gallon water tank, a partner cook uh, stove, and the griddle, and of course the ARB fridge, freezer unit. It is all just one, so you can either have it as a freezer or you can have it as a fridge, but it's impressively nice. It has a lot of storage to where everything's just right here. As you saw with the stove, the uh, wings here, you unscrew them, they come off and they lay down. So you could have a prep side over here next to the fridge and then a cook side on the other side or flip it around however you want it. Um, it does hold our knife set. I keep my fire mitts or my grill mitts here and then a lighter. Normally the uh, griddle sits inside of here and then our wash basin sits on top of that. And then everything just kind of like it has its own little nested area. So normally the uh, the partner cook stove would sit right here. And it also came with a uh, pop-up or a little camp table, um, which is really cool. And then it has the dome uh, awning on top to cover your cook area which is really nice for when it's hot and sunny. It gets you a little bit of shade, gets you the, the ability to get out of the heat. Then we also have the ARB uh, awning system with the deluxe room. And it's kind of cool. The deluxe room has a built-in awning, so it's not like just because you're using your awning as a covered area or to get away from bugs, you can still have another fly out to give you just a little bit more shade. I should have mentioned this on the other side. There is a little port that you can plug into. It gives you 20 amps of power. It's how we're powering our uh, light system that is for the ARB awning. Um, and then the nut house also put in a couple of USB ports. So either you can use it for here or we can put it up into the camper, depending on if the kids are with us or not. Sorry, we've been mudding, so everything's kind of a little dirty. But the link system is actually really nice. It allows you to control your front and rear locker. You have your fridge setting. You have your battery, which obviously my battery is in a warning level right now. And then it, you, it allows you to do your accessories. So like the tablet, my radio, and some other internal uh, gadgets are all plugged into that switch. The rock lights, we have the magnetic, uh, I wish I could remember the name of the brand. They're the magnetic ones. You can get them in either all white or color, uh, RGB color. Um, but they, they produce a lot of light for such a small little magnetic thing. And it's really kind of cool because you don't have to worry about drilling in. So you can actually put them onto the frame and not worry about structural issues. Of course, we have our uh, Gaia maps, and then I will display Onyx from my phone on the screen below. Uh, they both have their benefits. 
Um, some people in our group use Onyx. Some people in our group use Gaia. I kind of prefer Gaia. We also installed the limb lifters because out, out here where our local trails are, they're overgrown. And if you don't have these, you're going to be smacking a windshield left and right. Uh, I don't know. I just don't want to have to replace a windshield. It makes it nice. It kind of glides it up over the Jeep. Um, we do have the Warren 10K winch. It served its purpose wonderful. Uh, have not had a issue with it at all. And it's mounted onto the DV8 bumper. The lights in the DV8 bumper seem to have issues if you do a lot of water or mud. Um, I do need to replace all four lights. They, for whatever reason, keep getting issues. And then the jewel lights that are mounted on the bumper are amber white lights. There's a couple of different modes that you can flip through to uh, for what you're broadcasting. They'll strobe, they'll strobe white, they'll strobe yellow. They will be white yellow or white amber and then just straight amber. Uh, they, they seem to work pretty good for cutting through fog. I already talked about the Clayton, Clayton lift. I've been really impressed with the Clayton lift. The gentleman who actually made this Jeep, he had it built for a off-road excursion to Alaska. And he did a lot of really good stuff to it. Uh, he went ahead and, uh, what is it called? Uh, gusseted. Gusseted, thank you. <laughs> he went ahead and gusseted the uh, front bumper, uh, reinforced the front knuckles. Since it, we had a Mojave before, it did have the cast iron knuckles instead of the aluminum ones that uh, the Rubicon has. Um, it's got the Yeti XD uh, steering components so it's been beefed up really well I went ahead and put some drop-in LED lights they're 900 times 900 percent brighter than normal incandescent lights and uh, finally figured out which direction they need to be so people don't get so mad anymore um, but overall, the, the total setup of the vehicle is extremely impressive. I do wish I could get the Mojave metal plate mounted, but for some reason the bolt pattern is completely different on the Sport than it is on the Mojave. Uh, that's about the only thing that I really wish I could get changed. I just wish I had that extra protection there. Uh, it still has all the skid plates. It's not the ultra high molecular density boards that people are buying to put on the bottom. It's just a generic skid plate that Jeep has. Uh, maybe one day I'll save up enough to get some of those. But for the current moment, between the bed that you just saw, the rack and the tent and the two awnings, it's made life significantly easier uh, than even what Ducky's uh, Ducky's setup was. Um, very happy with this Jeep. Uh, it performs well and uh, hasn't hasn't gotten terribly stuck yet. So this is the plug that I was talking about that gives you 20 amps worth of power. And the box right now I have set on the other side to power the ARB light strip. Um, believe it or not, it's actually the only 12 volt plug <laughs> that is in the whole Jeep. Everything else has been replaced with uh, multiple USB ports, but um, the ARB system uses a 12 volt plug to power that lighting strip. And it gives the kids the right amount of light and the correct uh, color temperature uh, to keep bugs from being a horrible hassle. Um, some other things that I did not mention. It has these little jewel lights that are rotatable. Um, on the trail, I will kick them off this way so that I have a little bit more vision off to the side because unlike Ducky, this one, I haven't figured out what kind of lighting system I'm gonna put for side broadcast for while you're out on a dark trail. But for right now, I use these. It also has another uh, uh, kind of like a deck lighting that kind of lights this up. 
for whatever reason it's not working right now i'm gonna have to dig into the wiring to figure out why it's not but i could see where that would be really nice at least for ambient lighting these little uh, marker lights produce a decent amount of light for at night while you are uh, just walking around it's not blinding it's not too obtrusive but in order to have those on you do have to have your park lights on um but again, everything is, uh, everything's pretty phenomenal. One of the newer things that we did have to buy is a smaller propane tank. The 20 gallon or the 20 pound propane tanks do not fit inside of here. The cab is vented. Um, it is, it has been watertight, even with all the rain and stuff that we've been getting. So I've been extremely pleased. Nut House did a very good job in the construction. Off to the side, there is another set of USB plugs and then a pump switch and a cargo light, which actually illuminates the inside of the bed. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Inside of the bed here, uh, just so you can have some extra light to, to illuminate. Keep our shovel, our rake, and then one of my best friends and I, we sat down and made a couple of, uh, of fire pokers. So this was purple heart and I think oak is what we used on that. And just kind of pieced it together and milled it down. But even though the slide system does take up a lot of room, it it is well thought out. Um, it has been a little bit of a change getting used to not having a full bed because we used to carry way too much stuff and now everything has its place and its spot so it minimizes what we're able to bring with us but it's also probably a good thing too uh, our setup is just too simple now it's just really really easy uh, with this dome unit the legs that hold the uh, unit up in the front the supporting legs will compact down and then fit inside of this slide and of course the ARB those legs fold in and then the the supporting arm brackets fold in as well and everything's just nice tight perfect finish to where it doesn't look like it's drooping or hanging buttons up uh, well yeah but yeah exactly it buttons up well thank you um so everything, everything that they, they've put on this Jeep, uh, including the ARB that I put on, uh, works really well. Uh, I've been very, very impressed, very happy with everything that it, that it has. It's been phenomenal. Thank you for watching the walkthrough on Sharptooth. And if you have any comments, please drop them below uh, as far as what uh, things are or what I think about a particular unit or aspect of the vehicle. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe because we'd love to have you all see what we end up doing with them. We've had a blast with Ducky and I don't see why anything would change with uh, this vehicle. Uh, I think we'll be getting into a lot more stuff and doing a lot more fun things as time goes on. But thank y'all. Appreciate it.